Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add audio filters to your microphone so that your videos and your streams sound great. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this REA Plugs VST FX Suite. So I've put a link in the description box to this reaper.fm website. And then you'll go down to this download REA plugs box and you'll see two links. The first one's for 32 bit, second one's for 64 bit. So it just depends on your computer. You click on the right one and then you'll get this executable that shows up either in the, in the uh, taskbar or if you, uh, if you're using a different browser, it'll just be in your downloads folder. So go ahead and open that up. You're going to get the warning that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just click yes. Then you'll get the license agreement box. So you can read through that. Then hit I agree. In the choose components window, just leave everything selected. Everything is checked here. Hit next. And then in this, uh, you'll just have to choose where you want the installation files to go. I just left it in the default location. Just hit install. And for me, I'm getting this error message because I already have them installed. So I'll just hit ignore here. You should see the installation progress all the way through. You'll, it'll say installation complete. You can close this and then you'll get this REA plugs are now installed confirmation box. You can hit OK. And now we can get back into OBS and I'll show you how to start adding audio filters. Okay, so we're back in OBS and uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna bring up this audio filters window and you can do that one of two ways. You can either select your microphone down here in the sources window and then hit the filters button or you can right click on your microphone and just select filters. Okay, so the first filter we're going to add is called a background noise removal filter. So the way you add filters to your microphone is you're gonna come down here to the plus sign and you're gonna add a VST 2.x plugin. Now you can name it whatever you'd like. So I'm going to name mine background noise removal. Okay. So you're going to have a drop down and then a button that opens up the interface for all of these VST plugins. So again, the first one is a background noise removal. So from the drop down, you're going to select this one here, REA FIR standalone, Reefer standalone. And then you're going to open up the interface. And right now, this is, uh, this is set to EQ. But what we want to do is we want to change the mode to subtract. And when we do that, uh, we're we're going to get a checkbox here and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to check the box we're going to stay completely silent and what it's going to do it's going to build a profile of all of the frequencies of my room so right now i'm just going to show you guys i'm going to completely stop talking and you're going to see the audio level of the ambient noise in my room, it's gonna be somewhere around this minus 35 to minus 40 dB. And all it is, is just, I have a large fan in the back of my room. So I'll stop talking. All that is, is just fan noise. So if you have a large fan or if you have an AC unit, or even if you have your desktop sitting on your desk and it's got fans on it and your microphone happens to be picking that up you can use this audio filter to essentially remove that 
from your audio, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. As soon as I click on subtract here, it's going to start learning the profile of my room. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, there we go. So I, I, when I click the box, I waited about five to 10 seconds to give it enough time to learn the profile, learn the, uh, the ambient noise that's in my room. And then, like I said, all you do is you check the box, you wait five to 10 seconds, you uncheck it and you're done. So let's close this box and I'm going to enable it and disable it a couple of times so that you guys can hear the difference. So right now, the background noise removal filter is on. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it on. And off one more time. So I'm hoping you can hear the difference, how good it is at removing that ambient noise from my fan. Okay, so the next one we're gonna add is called a compressor. So same thing, you go down to the plus sign. It's another VST plugin. So we'll name this VST compressor. And then from the drop down, it's going to be this REA comp standalone. So again, we'll open up the interface. You'll get this window here. And for the compressor, you're going to have really two things that you want to change. The first is going to be the ratio. And for the ratio, you really want to stay anywhere from two to one to about six to one. 10 to one is kind of on the, on the high side for a microphone. I believe that the standard is about four to one. So I'm gonna set mine to a ratio of four to one. And then the other thing that you have to uh, tune for your specific setup is gonna be this dial here. This is the threshold where the compressor essentially kicks, uh, kicks in. Where does it start compressing the audio? And just real, uh, real basic explanation of what a compressor does is a compressor tries to give you sort of an average volume that comes from your mic at all times. So if you speak really loud, it's going to lower the volume. It's going to compress the audio to give you an average volume. If you speak really low, it's going to amplify. It's going to raise the volume again to try and get you sort of an average volume of when you're, when you're talking to your audience. So, um, and, and one of the reasons why this is so helpful is because you can actually see a difference of uh, of having a compressor uh, from the distance from where you are to the microphone. So I'll demonstrate this. I'm going to turn, well, let, let's set the threshold first. So let's set the threshold. What I'm aiming for with the compressor is when I'm speaking normally, you can see right now, the audio level is getting pretty high. It's getting dangerously close to peaking. So what I wanna do is I wanna compress it to where I get to right around here, right where, you know, the top of the yellow, bottom of the red, that's my goal. So let's move this dial down some. And I'm gonna continue speaking to where I can see that now the audio levels have been brought down and it's no longer 
uh, clipping at the at the top end of the red. So for me, it's right around minus 22 dBs. Obviously, this is going to be different for everybody, right? De it depends on the microphone that you have, the the gain that you have on your microphone that'll affect where this threshold is going to be. So uh, let me close this box now and I'm going to disable the compressor and I'm going to speak into the mic and I'm just going to move uh, my position relative to the mic so you can see the differences of what it sounds like with and without a compressor. Okay, so I'm going to disable it up here. So now I'm going to speak and I'm going to move from one side to another and you can kind of see how different the audio sounds with the compressor off. Okay, so now let's turn the compressor back on and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start moving and I'm going to continue talking so you can kind of see that the audio level is about the same regardless of where I am relative to the mic. So that's kind of what a compressor does. It gives you sort of an average volume all the time. Okay, the next one we're going to work on is it's another VST plugin and this time it's going to be a noise gate. So we're going to name it noise gate. Okay, and from the drop down you're going to select REA gate standalone and you're going to open up the interface. Okay, so once again, the interface looks very similar to the compressor. And then for this one, the only thing you really have to change is the threshold of where the, the noise gate kicks in. Essentially what a noise gate is, it's like an on off switch for your mic. You, you define a threshold where as soon as the audio levels dip below that threshold, it turns your mic off. That allows you to be typing on your keyboard, clicking on your mouse, you know, if you're rustling some papers on your desk, that all of that audio will not come through your mic because it's below the threshold that you define. So for me, since I have a fairly loud uh, keyboard, I like to set my threshold above where you can no longer hear my keyboard. And you'll see this. I'm going to start typing on my keyboard and I'm going to move this dial up until I can no longer hear it come through my mic. I'm going to stay quiet. I'm not going to speak while I'm doing this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so there it is, right around about minus 22 dBs is right is the threshold where you can no longer hear my keyboard as I'm typing on. So that that's uh, what a noise gate does for you, okay? And like I said, all these other settings, the attack time, the release time, all of that, you can just leave it the way it's set. It works perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and close this box now. And the last audio filter that we want to add is called a limiter. Um, and essentially what a limiter is, it's like the emergency brakes on the audio. It's the, we're going to predefine a ceiling for your audio so that you never peak uh, your audio. And the way you do that is you come down here you click on the plus sign and you add a limiter. So before we do that, I'm going to demonstrate what happens when your audio peaks. Okay, I'm going to disable the compressor just because it makes it easier to see it. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to clap a couple of times close to my mic and you're going to see this audio bar turn a solid red indicating that your audio has peaked. Okay, so here we go.
So that is a, a, a sign that your audio is peaking and you don't want that to happen uh, for two reasons. The, the first reason is because it's going to sound terrible. It's going to be all crackly and, and it's just not going to sound very good. And uh, two, you know, your, your listeners are not going to be happy that they're hearing these really loud sounds especially if they hear if they have earbuds right so you want to try and avoid that if you can and so we're going to add a limiter uh, i'll just leave it uh named limiter and you're going to have two things uh that you can change the first is the threshold and you can uh s since this is a logarithmic scale these are negative uh you start at zero here and you go negative down so right now, the default uh, threshold is minus six. It's down here. I've seen anywhere from minus three to minus six is about where you want to be. I like to keep mine at minus three. I'm just going to change it to minus three. Okay, so we've got our threshold set to minus three. And the release time, we're just going to leave it at minus uh, or at 60 milliseconds. Okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate again. Uh, I'm going to clap close to my mic and you're going to see that this audio level bar doesn't turn a solid red. You're going to see that the audio gets clipped right here at minus three dB. So here we go. There we go. That's what a limiter gets you. So now we're going to turn everything back on. And we've we've essentially added the four most critical audio filters that I think everybody should have on their microphone. This this will enable you to have really good audio, whether you're streaming or you're making YouTube content. You definitely want to have these audio filters on your microphone. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.